All right, welcome to physics. This is our second activity with our waves unit. And uh, I'm calling it Waves in Our World and Many Research Projects. So uh, at, their end, at the end of the activity, there will be a, a little research project, but I, but I promise it, it should be a, just a little bit. Okay, a, a, a quick project, I should say. Um, so going through this, okay. Uh, looking at the directions below, you will learn about ultrasound waves and how animals and modern technology utilize them. So uh, I, I've included a lot of information uh, about ultrasound, okay, a little bit of what it is, but then also how different uh, pieces of technology utilize ultrasound waves. And one of the reasons I did this was to, to teach you and introduce you to it because ultrasound is a very... Um, powerful technology and way that we use waves in, in our world today. Uh, but also they're kind of little examples of what I'm going to ask you to do with your project. So uh, as you're going through this, yes, I want you to answer the questions. Um, I, I want you to think about it. Most of them are, are going to be open ended and um, there's not necessarily a true right or wrong for some of them. Okay. Uh, but I do want you to think about it thoughtfully. And um, uh, another part of this is uh, I was re-looking at the learning target. And I was really trying to think about whether or not we need to practice calculating wavelength and, and doing some of the calculations. And based on the learning target, I, I don't think that's a priority. But the priority of the learning target is actually um, – understanding how waves are used in in our technology so um your short answers and, and actually taking the time to think about it and, and thoughtfully respond are going to be very important try your best to use complete sentences okay or or at least complete thoughts so that i i can track uh where, where you're at and your understanding okay uh so after learning about ultrasound, you'll conduct a mini research project, and, and I'll have those directions at the bottom here. So, uh, you know, again, I, I'm not going to go through and read all of this, but uh, what is ultrasound? I'm providing information. And then echolocation is our first example of how animals use ultrasound. So I have a little bit more information for you. And then I have a, a short response question. And really, I want you to discuss the following questions. And so these two questions in my mind are, are kind of uh, related and, and you can connect them. So, uh, you know, if it's a couple sentences on question one, a couple sentences on question two, great. If it's a sentence or so that connects to question two, um, you know, however you want to answer that, just again, do your best to answer the whole thing thoughtfully. Then a uh, second piece of technology is sonar uh, that uses ultrasound. And uh, as you can tell from the image here, okay, sonar is uh, perhaps most common uh, as, as far as the public eye is concerned with submarines or boats and, and that kind of thing. So uh, sonar technology is, is very helpful for underwater and you'll learn a little bit about that. I do have a calculation here for you, but again, um, it's actually the same equation that we used when we first were talking about uh, velocity. And so, but in this case, you'll be solving for distance. So I have that there for you. And you're going to learn a little bit about how fast sound can travel through water. Okay. Uh, so that's pretty cool, I think. And, and then you're going to calculate it. Uh, but then once you do that, I want you to think about, okay, so sonar can be used to find objects, but it can also be used to create quite literally a map of the seafloor. So I want you to think about like, well, how does it do that? Okay. Uh, next, ultrasound. Uh, ooh, we commonly, sorry, I keep doing that. We, we commonly refer to it as, you know, they're going to go get an ultrasound at, at the hospital, right? Uh, perhaps, uh, you know, a, a pregnant woman. So uh, technically, though, that is an ultrasonography, okay? Uh, or an ultrasonograph, that would be like an individual one. So 
another use of ultrasound is to see inside the human body. So you, you're going to read about that just a little bit. I do want you to watch this video, okay, because it, it actually shows you a lot of different ways that ultrasound is used in medicine. So again, uh, the, the goal then is that you're, you're being introduced possibly to new ways and, and, and then new visuals to how uh, this ultrasound waves can be used in, in medicine. So uh, it, I think it's pretty cool. Then uh, again, just another short answer after watching the video. And this short answer is, do you have any questions? And if you're watching this, uh, you, you should have questions if you're thinking about it thoughtfully. If you have absolutely no questions, then I'm requiring that you think of it something, okay? Um, you, even if you, you know the answer. But again, really, I, I want you to think about a, a meaningful question uh, or a genuine question to you. Now, uh, here's, here's our mini research project. So uh, very simply, you're going to choose a topic related to waves and technology. And below, I'll get to that in a minute, uh, I have recommended topics. Then you're going to answer the following questions. So there, there's only three questions, okay, that I really want you to answer. If you if you want to take this and have fun with it and and take it bigger, great. Uh, but really, three basic questions: What is the technology you're researching? So you got to tell me which which you know thing that you chose. And then B. What do people use the technology for? So uh, one example ooh, is, is a cell phone. So uh, cell phones do use wave technology. Okay. So then I would describe, well, cell phones are used for, for calling people. And more recently, okay, uh, you know, going on the internet, which is, which is another form. Okay. So there, there's lots of actually wave technology coming out of this Bluetooth. Uh, I'll, I'll get to my list lower. But okay, uh, playing music, all that kind of stuff. So what is this used for? And I want you to list as many uses as you can find for each different topic, it's gonna be different, okay? Uh, and then C, how does it utilize waves in order to achieve its purpose? So uh, to simplify the cell phone, which it's not necessarily true anymore, but let's just assume this makes a phone call, okay? <laughs> and that's all it does. So uh, I could talk about you know, what kind of waves are being transferred, how it receives a signal, how it sends a signal. Uh, and, you know, you should be able to find that information uh, online. OK, so it, it is a research project. Uh, but again, uh, if you want to take it further, cell phones utilize things like Bluetooth, which is waves, Wi-Fi, which is waves. Plain audio through a speaker is another form of waves being produced. Um, and so just just. All of this are, are really utilizing wave technology. Um, so that's just, again, one example if you choose to do a cell phone. Uh, so then once you choose your topic, uh, you, you can do the research first or after you choose the project style. It doesn't really matter. But you also want to think about what kind of project you want to do. I have a few recommendations. Again, I'm not trying to make it too complicated for you. Uh, you can make a little slideshow. So if you click this link, it should make you a copy of a template and the template I added nothing to. So if you choose a slideshow, I would want you to create a theme um, and, and really make it your own. OK, so this is not a very good template. It's very blank. OK, uh, but you'll see I have I want you to insert your name in the title and the topic. OK, um, so that's one option. Create a video. Uh, I've used this link before, I believe, for Wii Video, and, and some students did this in the past in quarter one. So uh, it's a very easy way is how I create these videos. Uh, you should have a Google sign-in with your, your student account, okay, um, if you want to create a video. The next thing, uh, you could just type a, type a short essay, okay, uh, a paragraph or two explaining you know, what is my technology? What is it used for? And how does it use waves? Uh, and for that, I, this is an essay box. Uh, but this is also where you'll turn in your project. So if you did a slideshow, uh, you can get the shareable link and, and paste it here. Uh, again, with this, with the slideshow and stuff, or, or Google Doc, if you want to type it somewhere else, 
make sure you get this you push the share button and the shareable link and just paste it in there uh, or again if you choose to type the essay you paste it in there if you create a video uh, maybe you can upload it to YouTube or something or there should be some shareable link uh, and, and you can put it in here also if you do do something like a video and put it to YouTube uh, you can do the insert video button okay uh, you could do an audio clip if you really wanted to um, or, or create a create a picture and upload it and then you, you can insert it there okay so there, there are some options if you want to actually like embed it um, but uh, when well, I think you can even embed the slideshow to be honest but honestly just the shareable link would be great okay then last but not least okay the recommended topics I, I quickly Google search you know waves in technology uh, and then I, I, I came across these these different ideas um, there are hundreds of different topics so you might have a particular idea or interest that's not on this list as long as it's uh, a common modern day technology uh, I, I feel free to, to, to research it assuming it, it is related to waves okay so uh, Bluetooth technology when I when I was thinking about that there's Bluetooth speakers Bluetooth headphones Bluetooth uh, in the sense like you know I mentioned cell phones and, and they can share information over Bluetooth, you know, uh, as, you know, I, I'm familiar with the iPhone, right? Um, but you, you can would do what's called airdropping and that's all Bluetooth. So uh, Bluetooth is pretty, pretty powerful and very, very common these days with lots of different uh, pieces of technology utilizing it. Okay, speakers, whether it's wireless speakers or plugged in, it is utilizing uh, sound waves and creating sound waves. And uh, honestly, if you don't know how speakers work, it's pretty cool. It, I, I think it's really cool. And it, it still blows my mind away. So uh, I think, it, it, like honestly, it might be one of the more basic ones. But if you don't know how a speaker works, a uh, pretty interesting topic on how that uh, creates sound. Uh, then, uh, again, cell phones. The radio, okay? You know, maybe it's less common than it than it was before, but you know, if you listen to the radio and you've ever wondered, like, well, how does my car get this radio signal, right? <laughs> like, how how does that work? Uh, you know, look look into that, research that. We all are utilizing Wi-Fi internet. If you have no idea how that works, uh, I would really recommend it. You know, just get a quick overview of like how does Wi-Fi work? Microwaves. I use microwave all the time, <laughs> pretty much every day for lunch. So, you know, how does that heat up your food and different things like that? Uh, there's other things like heat sensitive cameras. So, you know, camera cameras uh, or goggles that can uh, look at like heat motion kind of thing. Uh, night vision goggles. They're, they're utilizing different types of waves that allow them to see uh, things that we can't see with our eye. Television. Okay. Uh, never really thought about how does television get a signal and that kind of thing. You know, how does it get that information? How does it produce that information? This would be a great uh, research topic as well. GPS, Global Positioning System, definitely utilizing waves. Also, super crazy. Okay, GPS, when you think about all these, you know, devices and personal devices having GPS, uh, connecting with satellites and different things like that. Uh, it's crazy to think about the waves that are being produced and, and received at all times. Then uh, another example, another medical example, okay, MRI. So magnetic resonance imaging. Um, it utilizes magnetic force fields, okay, but, but there's also a, a, a system of waves that allow them to produce the, the, the images. So uh, again, those are really common ones that I think are super interesting if you if you don't fully understand how they work uh, and would be great little research project. Um, and, and this activity, so Thursday, Friday, but I'm also considering uh, having an extra work day because of this project. So I, I'm gonna see how students are doing on Friday with it. 
but um, if I feel like we need more time, I might extend it through next Monday as well. Okay. Let me know if you have questions and I hope you find it interesting and good luck.